EGS for me is a strange mix when thinking about hierarchy in education. Maybe you put it that way. Because on the one hand, EGS is founded, and this is the way one sees it from the outside, particularly as a, like a collection of stars. I mean, the, uh, the names you look at on the website of uh, Badiou, Nancy, Agamben, Zizek, it's, it's like uh, the pinnacle of the hierarchy. Put it like that, something like that. On the other hand, and that's true, and that's true. There is, uh, uh, that's one aspect of EGS. But on the other hand, EGS demands an incredible independence of the people that come here, maybe because of the setup. I mean, so in some ways, each, all are responsible for their own learning. There's something, there's something profoundly independent about it. If EGS could have a different format, if it could go on longer, there could be, in fact, a collective project of students. I, I think that, that it ends up being very individual. Um, but nonetheless, despite that, I think the, and, 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 also, uh, and also the people who come, the students who come to EGS in general are ones who are already mature intellectually, or maybe just in life, something like that, that allows for this kind of independence. So in any case, that's what I, that's in some ways the way I view EGS is this tension, let's put it, between uh, something higher than the academic star system in that, in, in that sense, plus uh, a kind of um, mature and independent student activity. That's the way I see EGS. I'm attracted by the idea of study. I'm thinking of the way studies proposed by Fred Moten and Steve Harney. And they propose study as some kind of self-organized activity. I mean, so the, there's a way in which curriculum itself is already, always already hierarchical. It's always already proposed by the administration, proposed by the professors. And I really think to overcome that, it's really something that the professors can't do, and even that the administration can't do. I think it has to be transformed in a way that's organized by the students. And so this is what they mean by study. I mean, it's a strange term because it seems so, such a banal, normal term. But what they mean by it is something which the students take control of the learning environment. Uh, so. If one were to then try to transform curriculum, transform curriculum as a, as a plan of study that's uh, self-organized from below, maybe, maybe pose it that way. That's the way I would be interested in curriculum. Um, yeah, maybe that's it about curriculum. Yeah.